It's a new day and even though I'm not looking like it, I feel refreshed. Tony got a good night's sleep, so we're gonna get back to the dino action. If you didn't watch the last video, you probably don't know that our dyno session was cut a little bit short because the engine sprung an oil leak and you probably aren't gonna be able to see it but I'll point you in the direction. So this cover here has a plug, a bolt plugging a hole that had a sensor in it before. And unfortunately, it came loose. So this thing ended up rolling out, packing itself out and causing this little leak. But on the bright side, it's a quick, easy fix. So I'm gonna get to that and then we can get back to tuning as quickly as possible because I want to get this thing done so we can swap over to the new tur to the other turbo which is a Garrett GTX 35R and test it so it's going to be an action-packed day today. So we're back at it here. What's the first thing we're going to do? I'm going to hit back up let this face pull. All right. Pretty consistent. Yep. Not bad. It looks like our fuel pressure filtering helped out with our O2 sensor. Oh, great! So it's, it's smoothed out. I like the sound of that. So you can see blue versus green. Yep. I think we'll get it at 4,800 or so. It's now gone, so now I have to add a little bit of fuel around 4,800. So we're making some improvements. Yep. That is the whole point of this, right? <laughs> That's good. So we're playing a little bit with the boost control, boost duty. We're gonna give it a little guess at, every, at our base numbers. We'll try to hit roughly one bar of boost this time around. Okay. Straight up into that 15 psi range. Yeah, I mean we're already 11, almost 12, so we're gonna bring yeah, it up. Let's try to bring it up to yeah. a reasonable amount. We're gonna go a couple psi above that anyway. Oh yeah, she's coming on strong. A little too like strong? It. Yeah, look at that. ATSI. By 3500 RPM, that ain't bad. So why did you abort there? It hit boost cut. So it just came up too quick. Yeah. One more time. Touching 400 almost. Like you said, though, the turbo is, you can kind see of how see how it's yeah, falling even, off there. Even though our boost is significantly higher, yeah. see, where, see where the torque is hard to, hard to change at all? That's, that's back pressure. Yeah. Coming up on the up and up. All right, so the torque probably came down a bit. Actually, it didn't. No, it came up. Well, I added two degrees to see how, see how the ECU re how the car reacted, and it definitely and it liked it. Paid off everywhere. Um, obviously, that's it just two degrees of timing. Well, two degrees is a significant is it? amount. Of okay, well, I don't know. Yeah. So you tell me. Any, anytime you're close to, what you're gonna notice is that the closer you are to the limit. 
the more and more you gain, as soon as you pass it, you're gonna start gaining less, less, and less, and eventually you start going backward, provided you don't hit a knock in the middle and start breaking apart. So these things are relatively knock resistant. And let's get away with a decent amount. Uh, I like that. Stronger. Um, yeah, it looks like you, you've been tuning there. that boost in pretty good. Getting there. It's making that giant steeple, like I said, it's likely our, uh, our uh, small turbo world life over here. <laughs> Still not bad. Over 400 is pretty good on this little guy, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like it's spooling exceptionally well. Look at that. So that's stock spring right this here so look at that look at this area we've already come up on yeah 417 ain't bad on pump gas so essentially you're into full boost control tuning now oh, yeah. the fuel set up and fuel then set up. what I've about been, timing it's just I've, uh, minor I've, I've made a couple changes so far I'm gonna uh, make another stroke in a different direction to see how it behaves. Yeah. Otherwise, it's uh, yeah. Let's see how it's, it's looking pretty clean. Good. I like the sound of that. I assume your process is you look at the log, which is what you see down below. So right here, that's yep. your log from previous run. You're looking at it and then you just kind yeah, of analyze it. See, it kind of follows. That's the nice thing about this. This ECU kind of. You can scan through it and you can see exactly where you were in the tables along the way, oh, you know? Great. yeah. So I can go over to um, anything. Like right now, on, under V, I put all my critical stuff in here. I can see what fuel pressure was anywhere, oil pressure. Wicked. You know, I can see all everything that happened during that pull. Yeah. And any, anything that's open in any of these windows, I get to see. Do I have any crank sensor issues? Nope. Yeah, yeah. You know, is there any... Uh, uh, you know, I'm using flex fuel, but like... Uh, there's all of our boost feedback data, you know, like everything's live. Everything can be seen. It's logged so fast because how fast the processor is. It's kind of nice to be able to see all this stuff. Yeah, that's wicked. All right, let's back and pull up to see what it acts like. something that you would think, oh, we should keep it at the right. more aggressive timing setup. So we're looking at what I did on that pool. Timing, so we had... Yeah, so we almost dead on those two degrees less. And we lost six foot pounds of torque and six horsepower. That's we're pretty, pretty good, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to level off right there. We're not going to push any harder. I think we're kind of, kind of stuck there on this little baby turbo. Yeah. And we really want to see what the bigger one's going to do. And that's it for the GTX 3076R. It did pretty well at 414 wheel and 417 foot-pounds, although it's a tad lazy here. Tony was expecting it, the torque to hit a little bit stronger and pull a little bit further, but you never know, there's a couple of other odds and ends that we're somewhat fighting, I shouldn't say fighting, but dealing with in terms of this dip and a little bit of fuel pressure noise. So we're gonna try to fix that, but that's it for this episode. And we're gonna be moving on to installing the GTX 35R, which is this guy. And we'll, we'll test that in the next episode and bring you the results. But so far, so good. The car's running well, no problems with it. 
So I'm happy and excited to see what the 35R does. If you guys want to support what we're up to here, you can check out our Patreon page. And if you don't, that's cool too. Yeah.